growing up as kids, you know, we see like all these burgers and hot dogs, and then we couldn't eat the hamburger because it's not halal. Our whole play on this was to make classic American food, but make it halal so everyone can enjoy it. How are you? I'm Mo. Hey, Mo. Nice to Ali, meet you. Nice to meet hey, you. Ali. Come around. We'll have them open up for you. Let's see where the secrets are. Right secrets. Here, this right here, Sheldon. These are our patties. We get them all done every morning. Your own unique blend. Own unique blend. Own marinade. 100% halal beef. We use this, our spicy mayo that we make here, and then this is the tasty sauce. I mean, this is a burger spot in a gas station. You guys now holding back. We do everything fresh, fresh ingredients every day. All right, we're gonna do the burger that got you guys the trophy. Yes, we're doing the nacho burger. Onions, jalapenos. 100% halal beef patty. Okay. This burger has three different kinds of cheese on it. Pepper Jack, Swiss. We get our jalapenos and our grilled onions on there. American, that holds it all together. Because it's halal, we have to use beef bacon. We got nacho cheese at the bottom. Then, the whole nacho part, you gotta get the crunch. This is my favorite part of the burger. Perfect burger right there. The championship trophy for right Yes, here. sir. Yeah. We beat 20 restaurants out yeah. with Doritos on a burger. Yeah. Out of a gas station. All right. Detroit, one of the most diverse cities like in Michigan. Yeah. You've been here your whole life? I've been here my whole life. Yeah. Born and raised here. Born and raised. So is Ali. Both our fathers, you know, came from Lebanon. They came, they learned, they worked hard. and They yeah, built a good work ethic for us. They always thought, oh, we came with nothing. We did yeah. this. You guys had everything. What are you gonna do now? So, so now we gotta make it a little bigger. So now yeah. we gotta keep going. We gotta, we gotta take it up to the next level. We get a special cut of steak just for us that's shredded down. It's also marinated. We cook it only on Wednesdays. Your grandfather came here from? Yeah. Came here from Lebanon to work at Ford. And then he just, one day, he couldn't take it. So he started working at a couple gas stations and then he bought one, bought two, and started a little empire on his own. Ali's dad actually got my dad his first job at All one right. of the gas stations. My dad came with like $50 in his pocket, couldn't speak the language, had to learn English. It was pretty cool how all their hard work, giving us good lives. And like, Chance to do the same thing. This guy was 21 at the time, but I'm telling you, straight business genius. Yeah. For real. <laughs> My man. For real. At that time, you was going to culinary school. Yep. And he actually texted me. He said, you want to just, you know, let's partner up. Let's do it together. I said, I still remember the text <laughs> I sent him. I was like, let's build our burger empire. People are driving from different states like North Carolina or Ohio that have like high Muslim populations. And they'll even come eat here just because they know Tasty's has really good halal food. This is the, the champion. This is the, champ the, this is the right one there. that you guys are known for. There's a lot going on in yeah, there. Oh yeah, a lot of flavoring. But it all makes sense. You know it's good when it gets all over your face too. Then you get the spice and then the crunch. It's like a big fondue on top yeah. of it. And then the beef bacon. You like that beef bacon. I never had that before. West Coast fries, top it off with nacho cheese, that tasty sauce yeah. made from like unicorn tears. <laughs> it's top secret. And I've been hearing you're in Detroit, you gotta do a Coney Island. And this is the tasty style. Yep. Oh yeah. And this is based on like a, like a cheesesteak. And that one sells out every Wednesday. Yeah. Beefy, but it has that spice blend yeah. to it. You can see why it sells out, bro. You know, a lot of people were like, what, I'm not gonna go eat in a gas station. Yeah. But then they come in, they're like, wow, okay. Being able to pump out this kind of volume, and this kind of quality of food from the station, has really, been, yeah, it's been, it's really been awesome. And we put pride in what we do. Yeah, There's nothing more exactly. American than a burger, burger and a hot dog. Burger yeah. and a hot dog. French fries. Building a spot for the community. Being able to give them classic American food that they can actually eat and trust us. In the heart of Detroit. 
I know that behind that too is a family that kind of instilled sure. those values in you oh, yeah. too. My mom, for yeah. sure, 100%. Mom's behind the counter. No, Look she's the that. best. The Tasty's yeah. mom. Tasty's mom right there. She's the big boss. Yeah. It's a whole family environment. You'll catch my grandpa coming and yelling at me, my dad <laughs> checking up on me too. Now you guys got Detroit's back. Oh, it's true. And I think Detroit as a whole too, where a lot of times big names fail here. You see a lot of, you know, small businesses, a lot of people who are running their own businesses, like Tasty's. I applaud you guys. Your work ethic goes straight into the product, man. Like the chicken, it's the best chicken in the whole town, that's what the people say. We put a little bit of mustard, so we cook it like high. When we're done with that, we have